Alright, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today, we are in Idaho, specifically in Lumberjack, Idaho. This is a new town and this is a new little mini map and yard from Matt VT. Uh, it's the Lumberjack Lake Expansion. Uh, if you get it, it's in Idaho, just southeast of Grangeville. It's got a couple different job sites remote off of the main property that you can pick up on. One is a mine, one is a, uh, like a, you can pick up timber and stuff like that. And then the main yard I'll show you in just a second. But what we have going on today, we have three parts going on. Number one, I'm going to quickly show you around this little Matt VT yard slash area. Uh, second thing is I want to show you, uh, we have an updated logging trailer, an updated Tamisco logging trailer from Dro Modding, and we'll probably go ahead and pull out of the, uh, the logging site that's just up the hill from the main residence. And then I want to uh, take a short drive. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing I wanted to show you is over here is like the main part of the, the main residence and everything just on the other side of that lake and over the bridge. But I did want to point out that this is one of those yards that has a remote fueling station. So you can get fuel here in this town, but you're going to have to get it here from this gas station, which is right next to the post office. Uh, so, and then you got a few little houses here. Some of these roads are open and you can take them up. In fact, you can take this one up and it will lead you to a mining uh, spot where you can get some jobs. If we pop out of that and take this road up, it's going to lead to the logging site where you can get a job right up here. And then come down the mountain and that's when you're going to get to the primary residence. There are some additional residences uh, just so that it looks nice just right there on the other side of the bridge but this is the main thing we've got some uh, trailers parked out here we've got some logs this is your garage you buy the property over here and you can rest right where I have my truck and trailer you got a little uh, garden going on here nice little touch and then you have the main residence and picnic tables out there in the back another shed back there in the distance but this would be your main residence and that road would also take you up to the logging site as well. And it's not, they're not joking. It is a rough road. Um, cross over this bridge. And then once you pop up the hill, you will connect with the main road that I showed you over this other bridge. And that'll lead you back to the gas station and post office. Uh, all of it surrounding this beautiful lake. Um, so that is basically the new Matt VT yard. Looks pretty cool as always. Throws in elements of realism to round it out and we have all the functionality. Again, little caveat, no fueling station here at the main residence. You do have to go down the road uh, next to the post office to do it. So that is the new Matt VT yard, Lumberjack Lake Expansion. I will have a link down below. The second part that I really want to go over here is to take a look at this trailer. Now I'm not going to take it into the shop because there's not tons and tons of nodes on it, but I did want to mention that uh, there was a focus to really bring this up to date. It hadn't been updated for a while. Just kind of cleaning up the 3D model and a lot of the 4K textures uh, just to bring it back to kind of an updated status. And now that he's done with this, he can focus on getting additional uh, like additional cargoes and additional customization via the light nodes but this is mainly to bring it up accurate for 1.49 and he also notes that in order to get the most effect you're going to want to also get his newest light pack which is updated just a few days ago just right before he got done with this trailer so the dro modding tamisco logging trailer is what we're going to be using what are we going to be driving? We're going to be driving Sergei Selenik's GMC General slash Chevy Bison. I featured it on this channel, but it's been a while since we've run it. And I thought it would be a good pairing with this uh, logging trailer. So we have a 465 horsepower Cummins 855 from Serial Black. And we have an Eaton Fuller 8LL. So that's essentially eight highway gears 
and two low gears with one of them being deep reduction or low low. I'll show you the pattern when we get into the trailer. As always, timestamps down below in the description. If that doesn't appeal to you, go ahead and skip on to the drive, but I think that's just about everything covered. So let's go ahead and get in the truck. Okay, so I kind of ported myself up to this uh, logging site, and wouldn't you know it, just in time for it to start raining, it's nice to hit some really uh, narrow and bumpy roads when our tires are also a little slick, so this should make for an entertaining video. This part you might want to skip over if you're not interested in the transmission. Again, timestamps down below in the description. Go ahead and skip ahead until we start the drive, but I just wanted to take a few minutes to point out the transmission. It is an Eaton Fuller 8LL, which means you have, it's essentially an 8 plus 2, 8 highway gears, and you shift it much like a 13 speed or an 18 speed. If you're looking at the camera in the lower right hand corner of the video, here's the pattern first, second, third, fourth, upper range, repeat it. It's just like a 13 or an 18. The only difference is you can't split anything in the upper and lower unless you are in the low range and you come over here to low. You'll get one low with the splitter back and you'll get one uh, you'll get another low or a deep reduction low low if the splitter is forward. So that is what is going on today. And obviously in the lower range we've got upper left is reverse. Think about it like a 13 or an 18, but you're not going to split any of your main gears. You only have eight of them and you've got the two low in the low range. That's pretty much it. And I uh, did want to point that out because I do appreciate Fury 6. This is uh, one of his transmission and shift patterns. And he makes it available in two forms. The H pattern, like I just showed you, first, second, third, fourth. But he also makes it in a U shape, which is what I'm going to be driving today. First, second, third is bottom right, fourth is upper right. And it repeats that way, that same pattern in the upper range for seven and eight. That's the way I'm going to be driving it today. So let's go ahead and get on the road and get these things delivered. A little rough to start there. Make sure we got the headlights on. Pretty sure those are on. All right. Um, Lumberjack is where we are in Idaho. We're going to Missoula, dropping off at the Rustic, and we have 66,150 pounds. Again, the engine is a 465 horsepower Cummins 855 from Serial Black. Let's go ahead and get the windows down. So you can hear the engine a little bit, plus it's raining. That should be enough to keep us clear. All right, parking brake is off, and we are on the move. These are uh, short 16-foot logs in three sections. The, uh, there are longer logs for this, but we don't have it selected as of right now. I'm just kind of showing you the grounds and a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, the trailer too. We're gonna get some uh, deep reduction going on there. Kick it into low as we're climbing up that small hill. It is quite a bit of weight on there. Looking pretty good. Oh, we're in the yard. Let's get those beacons on. Okay, so a little update. Maybe because it's raining, also because of the steep hills and uh, valleys uh, of this map, I was not able to do it. I tried it uh, four different times, and I crashed every single time. Uh, part of it is my fault because I chose one of the what three engines in American Truck Simulator that does not have a Jake brake so full brake and trailer brake pressed down first of all I couldn't get up this hill so again we're talking about 66,000 pounds with a 465 horsepower engine this one because it's raining not only did I go out of control with no Jake 
but it simulates even on dirt that you are sliding left and right out of control. I crashed once here. I crashed another time here. One time I hit here and then went all the way down into the lake. That was fun. So I'm basically skipping all of the mountainous parts, which are probably the most entertaining, but it kind of brings me back. I hate to do this, but this is the third map from Matt VT where I can't get up or down any of the hills. So here's the post office and gas station. We're just going to continue right here and hopefully we can get out of these roads. Um, but I don't know if it's something with the way he designs it or no matter what truck I use, I can't get up or down any hills. Um, and some of them even with a Jake brake. So, I mean, these are pretty steep hills. Maybe, maybe not design some hills that have like 15 to 20 percent grades. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and continue right here. All right, let's go ahead and get going again. So I hate to really uh, get on Matt VT's case. Maybe it is my fault, but I run every other map mod and every other truck just fine. But when it comes to a Matt VT yard, I'm always not able to get up and down hills. I'm wondering if you guys are also experiencing that or if it's just my problem, because it would be a really big coincidence that it's only his yards. I'm just gonna have to gun it in first. If I switch out to any other gear, I can't do it. Is 465 horsepower really too, really not enough for 66,000 pounds? I, could, I can't even get up that small hill. I can't do it. All right, well, I went ahead and skipped about 20 miles of canyon roads. And try to get back onto some flat land. Unfortunately, I just can't, just can't get it done. Um, and by the way, I have a 4.3 differential. Um, maybe for those hills you need like a 5. I, I don't know how else I get out of that. Or maybe I'm just too incredibly underpowered. But there was like no way that was happening. Any sort of uh, steep incline was not happening. So, I don't know. I don't know tribute it just to Matt VT stuff. I don't want to, you know, knock the guy, but I mean, maybe if you guys can give me an answer or Matt VT can, is there any sort of explanation? Is there anyone else that's running into the same problem? Cause he had another, uh, he has another, yeah, you can find me cause I'm not stopping right now. I'm afraid to even stop this truck. Yeah, again, I don't know if it's just me or if it's something with Matt VT, but if um, Matt VT can, you know, let me know what's going on. There's something that is not right, um, and it is specific to Matt VT stuff. Um, yeah, he had another logging site in St. Regis. I did that about a month ago. Had to stop the video and port myself up to the top. Um... There was another video where I was using uh, Pinga's dump. It, it was his uh, 379, 389 um, in the dump truck version, and I couldn't get up the hill. I Even in the video, I showed like five attempts to do it in different ways, and I had an 800 horsepower engine, and I wasn't even moving at all. And that one was... It had to do with the terrain. You could see how at least two of the tires or one or two of the tires were not allowed to touch the ground while the other ones were and I think the game interprets that as you can't drive so it just stops you dead in your tracks um, and yeah this is the third one that's happened so I'm fine so long as all of his maps are on flat ground if they have any inclines 
almost every truck that I have cannot make it. So there's there's something that's I think there's something wrong in the design, um, and I don't want to criticize him for it. It's just pointing it out. Matt VT, can you uh, take a look at that? And now what's going on? What is going on? Now I'm losing all of my scenery. Um, this has this is the first time this has happened. I've driven twice today, and probably about ten times in the week. And now this is happening to me. What's going on? I think I'm going to have to take out all my Matt VT stuff and just see what happens. See if I can get it to return back to normal. Yeah, failed to... Yeah, I'm not really in the mood to stop right now, so... Just throw me the fine, I'm good. Not really in the mood for it. Anyway, fun drive. At least you got to see uh, the new map. Uh, just don't drive on it. And you got to see the pattern for the 8LL. Get to see some of the details on this uh, updated trailer from Drill Modding that looks good. We're going to go ahead and kind of skip ahead. I don't really want to stop. I'm just curious to see if I can actually shift through all the gears. I'm just kind of testing this right now to see if it isn't a problem with the truck. Um, and, and again, I, I've driven this two other times recently and so long as I wasn't at a Matt VT site, I'm fine. Uh, that's really the only thing I can I can conclude. I got to do some testing here, but truck seems to be fine, even with the weight. So we're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead. I'll catch up with you toward the end because this has ended up taking a lot of time. So. I'll see you guys in a few. Alright, we're just about, yep, yeah, eight minutes out now. Coming up on the site. That was a uh, rather smooth drive as soon as I got on flat land. So, need to figure out what's going on with that. Um, until then, I'm just going to kind of wait for an answer from Matt VT see what's going on there because I don't really want to use any of his logging sites or mines or anything like that because I've just had too many too many experiences with too many different trucks that just can't make the drive and if you if you can't go up those hills that he spent so much time developing like what's the point that's I want to be able to use those roads that's why he's creating these I mean, is it really the case that I am the absolutely only one that is 0 for 3 with all of those maps? Whenever it involves any sort of hills or anything? I don't think so. I, I, I don't, I really don't think so. And I've done it across different profiles, different trucks, different engines, you name it. Um, and it's just, it's not happening. I'm going to do one little pull up here. Taking it nice and slow. Sure, it did give you quite a, quite of a, a bit of a challenging delivery with all those other things in the way. That's cool. I like it. All right. Well, here we are. Um, let's get those off. Get our lights off. 
and shut her down. Well, here we are in Missoula. Kind of took a shortcut to get here, but you know, just uh, in the start of the start of the drive. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Is this happening to you on specifically on the mining jobs and the remote logging jobs, Matt VT, or is it just something that is happening to me every time in every profile with every truck and every transmission and engine? I, I don't know. I, I got to get this figured out. I'm going to reach out to them and see what can be done. Um, in the meantime, that is a uh, little show of this updated Tomisco logging trailer from Drill Modding. Highly recommend and I'm looking forward to some additions that he has on here when he gets some new loads and maybe even makes uh, a few more nodes with it. Really looking forward to that. Uh, always fun driving the bison. Sergey Selenik. I'll have a link down in the description below. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about the uh, 8LL, the transmission, the shift pattern uh, from Fury 6. Thank you, Fury 6. Um, always doing a great job. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you can see all of my videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.